Now that you have all of the pieces of your rocket ready to assemble, you have one last step before you begin putting your rocket together. And that's shaping and finishing your fins to improve the performance and the appearance of the rocket. Before we begin doing that, let me talk a little bit about the materials you're going to be using. You're going to be sanding the fins, and that means you're going to be using sandpaper. Sandpaper comes in a variety of grits and coarseness. The most coarse sandpaper, the grittiest we would recommend you use, is a 100 grit sandpaper, usually regarded as medium coarse. And it ranges up to a 400 grit, which is a very fine sandpaper uh, useful for finishing the surface and for painting. Now, when you use sandpaper, you're going to produce sawdust. So I would recommend you use a newspaper to collect the sawdust and keep it from spreading out. Take the fins you've already cut out, and the first thing you want to do is sand the surface of them so they're smooth, like this. Having done that to all of the fins on both sides, you then want to change the shape of the edges to improve their performance. From cutting them, your fins have a very nice square edge on all of the edges. And what we're going to do is round off the leading edge and the trailing edge of the fin. We're not going to touch the root edge of the fin, which attaches to the rocket. You want a good square edge on that um, piece of the fin to get good adhesion to the rocket. Now, the, the square edge works well. It's nice and strong, but it does include a lot of drag on the rocket. The simplest way we can improve that is by using what's called a double curved shape. And it's very simple to do this. You take the leading edge of the fin and just roll it back and forth on a piece of sandpaper, taking a fine sandpaper and smoothing out that edge. And then you do the same thing to the trailing edge. Now, that's a good shape and it's fairly simple to do, but if you really want to improve the performance of your rocket, use what's called a biconvex shaped airfoil. This is the leading edge and the trailing edge, and we achieve this by taking the fin and sanding the leading edge with a sanding block, fine sandpaper, at an angle. We flip it over, do the same thing on the other side, and we use the same method to sand the trailing edge, coming up with a very nice biconvex shape. Now, this has changed the shape of your fins to improve the performance. The next thing we want to do is change the fins to improve your appearance. We do that, we start off by sanding them smooth, all three or four fins on both sides. We then fill in the wood grain using a couple of products. This one is available at a hobby store. It's called a balsa wood filler, and it's like a paint. You paint it on the surface of the fin, let it dry, sand it, paint it on the surface of the fin, let it dry, sand it, and after two or three coats, you'll have a very smooth, very hard surface to your fin. You do both sides. If you only do one side at once, you run the risk of warping the balsa wood. An alternate way to do this is to use wood filler, which is available in hardware stores and home supply stores. It's a very good product, simple to use. You take and smooth, squeeze a small amount out onto a saucer, a paper plate, something like that, probably something disposable. Mix it with water doesn't take a lot of water, but the objective is to thin the paste out so it can be smoothed onto the balsa filler. When you have a nice, even liquid, you take that liquid, using your putty knife, you smooth it onto the surface of the fin. Doing both sides 
completely. Now, and then set it off to dry. Now, I've already done this with this fin here, and as it dries, it's still fairly rough. So what I'm going to do is taking my sanding block with fine sandpaper, smooth out the surface. Now your fins are aerodynamic, smooth, and ready to assemble onto your rocket.